You know, somewhere tonight under prairie stars, a cowboy sleeps unafraid. He feels secure, believing that a deadly prairie killer will not cross this barrier here, the bristling barrier of horsehair rope. We received a letter here from a Mr. Jack Steubendorf, who lives in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He wrote, I am an ex-cowboy from the West, and many of the old timers claim that a rattlesnake or any snake will not cross over a horsehair rope. And many times I've used the hair rope myself out on the range to circle my bedroll. Can you give me a straight answer as to whether this is a fact or just an old cowboy superstition? Well, Mr. Stuberg, the belief that uh, rattlers uh, will not cross one of these horsehair ropes has been uh, persisting in the West for a long, long time. Now, we talked to some outdoors men here a little while ago, and they were equally divided as to whether it was fact or whether it was just fancy. And we decided the best way to find out was to try it. This is Mr. Jim Danielson here. He's a naturalist and animal handler. And uh, Jim furnished the snakes for this experiment. And right now, you're going to see what happened. You asked for it. Now, this is uh, snake country out near Castaic, California. Jim Danielson rounded up quite a vicious assortment of vipers for this experiment. Got Pacific Rattlers and Big Reds and Western Diamondbacks Sidewinders. They're ten slithering specimens. Uh, mine was the rope detail. Into the horsehair barricade they go. And now let's see what happens. They seem to be headed for the nearest exit, which is across the road. Doesn't seem to bother him a bit. Over and out they go, one by one. Hey, watch this little sidewinder here. He can't make up his mind. I guess to him it looks like another snake, huh? Well, we can't stay here forever, so uh, over the top we go and... Uh, that leaves uh, nobody. <laughs> well, there you are, Mr. Stubendorf. That experiment, I believe to me, proves conclusively that not one out of ten snakes is afraid to cross this famous uh, horsehair barrier here. I will have to put it down to just a superstition, but uh, Jim Danielson, how do you suppose that superstition started? Well, Art, it is generally believed that snakes have extremely sensitive skins. Take a look at this horsehair rope and you'll see quite a prominent raising of the hairs on the rope. Mm -hmm. I imagine that the old timers thought that the snake coming up to it would shy away from it. However, experts know that a uh, snake will crawl over sharp stones, uh, glass, anything of that kind, and um, certainly the old timers were wrong in that snakes have much tougher bellies than they realize. Now, I can see that. I've been knowing that myth there for a long while. Will a snake crawl over it? I never knew which, was to, which to believe until right now. Mr. Stubendorf, we're mighty glad you asked for it. Thank you.